Hey guys, Ian, Ian's vlogs and Aussie Tech vlogs. I don't know why I call myself here now, do I? Probably Ian's vlogs. Why me and aunt after all? Um, well, interesting. Things have changed a bit since my last vlog. I'm actually got onto some medication to help with my ADHD, which is really fine. It's the long road to get to it, but it seems to be making a huge difference. I feel more in control, clearer headed, and I feel like I can finally get stuff done. So, try to get back into these vlogs again. Um, I've got a friend's wedding I'm doing in um, about a month's time, and I'd be a bit stressed out, because my GA6 of those good, focus performance isn't great some other aspects and I've been wanting to go full frame for quite a while and thanks to my amazing partner she believes in me that she's going to in, apply to get this camera I've been wanting to get hold of for a while the, the S2 X which is a S5 2X that's what full frame, first time going into full frame, well kind of second. My first camera was, my first full frame was a Sony A99, but it wasn't a good, it wasn't really what you would call full frame to be honest. But this along with my GH6 and other aspects is really going to move things forward I think. And hopefully in the future, me and my friend Todd, who's a photographer, who's going to help me with my friend's wedding. We're looking at setting up a, uh, doing some special events and stuff together. He, he'll do the photos, I'll do the videos, and we'll work together. Or we can both do photos, because the, uh, the, uh, the, what's it? A for, uh, S5-2X is also a very capable photo camera as well. It's also more, the X means it's more set up for video though. So if all going well, this photography business is one I'm going to work on. Next week I'm sorting out my DA, driver's authorisation, so I can do part-time limousine work. So I'll start getting some money in. This, as I said, I just feel clearer. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. It just, the way I've been feeling in the past with this ADHD is that you, it feels like you procrastinate. You, your, your, your mind wants to get stuff done, but you can't action it. You procrastinate. You just put it off and put it off and put it off. Now I actually feel like I can start getting stuff done. I'm feeling like more older self from a long time ago, I don't think I remember last time I felt this clear. I just feel like I can finally get somewhere, instead of just plodding along and not really getting anywhere. The car just flashed these lights, I'm wondering if that's to do with a potential speed camera ahead, I would say most likely, because that's what people normally do when they do that. Which means it's a 60 zone, this car's only going to do 50. Yeah, but isn't that typical? Panic too much thinking there's a cop speed camera down here and you want to do 60. It's 50 along here. No, you're doing 45. No, we're doing 40. Yeah, it must be grandma. <laughs> so, yeah, um, things are definitely looking up. Uh, Keep an eye on Aussie Tech. Also, me and Todd are looking at rebooting Aussie Tech to really get it moving. He's got himself a nice, decent full frame Sony camera. And if I get my full frame, I think we can work together a bit more. Here, I'm going, I'm going the Panasonic route, and he's, the Sony, he's a Sony fanboy. But Sony are still very good when it comes to their cameras, they're probably one of the industry leaders. And if it wasn't for them, they really pushed this whole mirrorless industry and their auto focusing systems and stuff like that. And that's where my GH6 that I've actually brought with me today fails with is that its autofocus has never been great. So this new focus system 
is so much better. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out and just having a reasonably decent camera. But that all depends if my partner gets approved, she's going to apply for it. So hopefully within the next week I'll have that camera and we'll all see. Anyway, I'm, I'm going for a little bit of a drive. I'm going to try and get some photos ready with the older camera at the moment. Just get back into using that. Getting, that's the other thing I've been struggling with over this last, really, 12 months, is that I go for drives like you see me now, nearly every day. And I want to go and use the cameras, but I just get lazy. I get to a place and go, oh, this could be good. And then I just oh, I can't be bothered to get out of the car. I can't push myself out of the car. I'm hoping this time I can push myself out of the car. I only started the medication yesterday, and, he, and, the, and the guy said, the psychologist said, it should actually you should start seeing the um, within the first day, within the first couple of hours. He actually said, and then it will get, it will slowly get better. And I'm feeling more. I, will, I felt clearer yesterday. Yesterday's the day. Disadvantages, and he said, as it is, it can be a disadvantage, especially at first, is that. Um, it can affect one's sleep cycle and then make you stay away. And I was up, last night, I couldn't get to sleep. I was up till 5.30, I actually got to bed and couldn't sleep for three hours. I just lied there in bed, trying to sleep, couldn't. So I got up and played a game for a couple of hours and then felt tired enough to go to sleep. I fell asleep for a couple of hours. And then woke up and just feel like, oh, okay, I've had a good night's sleep. I only had about three hours sleep, but Maybe hit better tonight, I don't know, who knows. But you know, with all drugs there's always some other actions, so I'd need to keep an eye on that. But so far no real after effects because you can feel nauseous and stuff like that, but I'm not feeling any of that. So that is a really good sign. Anyway, I will catch you after.